Uh, first, I would like to introduce myself. I am uh, Professor Hussein Hassel Arabi. Uh, I am the head of cardiovascular medicine department in Asyut University and director of Asyut University Heart Hospital. Uh, now I'm speaking about uh, uh, the uh, coronary artery disease risk factors. Uh, you know coronary artery disease risk factors uh, uh, are classified in different ways. And myself, I prefer the classification of uh, 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 modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors. Uh, this is important because you have to identify the risk factors according to the way uh, you have to deal with. Uh, the non-modifiable risk factors are important to know to be considered in diagnosis of coronary artery disease in uh, putting the management plan of these patients. Uh, the non-modifiable risk factors include factors that you can't intervene, you can't change, but you have to consider, like the increasing age, for example, the male gender, the uh, genetic risk factor, the family predisposition, and the socioeconomic condition of the patient. Uh, other risk factors are considered modifiable. These modifiable risk factors uh, uh, can be uh, intervened. You can uh, uh, make uh, um, some ch changes that, uh, uh, and, and medications. You can give medications, lifestyle med changes that you can prevent or even ameliorate the risk of these factors. Uh, of these risk factors, uh, uh, smoking, Smoking is very important risk factor and you have uh, to take all the measures you, you can do to stop smoking because uh, it's highly atherogenic. Uh, uh, and another risk factor is diabetes mellitus. And diabetes is one of the worst risk factors uh, because it ameliorates the, the gender protecting effect of uh, females that uh, is caused by estrogen. Uh, the presence of diabetes may, makes females having nearly the same risk uh, of males in having coronary artery disease. So control of diabetes is very important and long-term effect of this control uh, is very important in developing acute coronary syndromes, not only coronary artery disease. Uh, hypertension and dyslipidemia. Uh, these are the traditional risk factors that you have to consider. In addition, the socioeconomic condition. The socioeconomic condition is another risk factor, but actually it's considered as a non-modifiable risk factor. You can't do. And the lifestyle, obesity, uh, uh, sedentary lifestyle, these factors you can intervene. Uh, to intervene in these risk factors, you have to know the circumstances around the patient. It needs the counseling of the patient to, to know what to do. There is no standard for every patient. You have to, uh, to tailor a, a lifestyle change for each patient. This needs uh, more time to spend with the patients to, 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 to know the situation of the patient. The, even the socioeconomic condition here have an important impact on uh, the lifestyle uh, uh, program that you will put the patient. You can't change the lifestyle, the, the socioeconomic condition of the patient, but you have to consider the socioeconomic uh, condition of the patient when you are tailoring a lifestyle change for the patient to prevent coronary artery disease.